What's going on guys? Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist. And I want to talk about a question that came in through the Facebook group, uh, Total Knee Replacement Support Group for Kind People. You can check it out. I'll put a link down in the description of this video. It's a completely free group. It's about 7,000 members strong, 5,000 active members. And there are just tons and tons of questions and feedback and sharing experiences about Total Knee Replacement. So go check it out if you want. But the question came in talking about the knee extension machine, knee flexion, knee extension. You can see a picture of it right here to my side. And basically the member was asking, why is it that I can push so much weight with a leg press exercise, but it's so challenging to even do, I think she said 15 or 20 pounds on a knee extension machine. So let's talk about the mechanics of it and we'll talk about some of the other comments that came through. So first, my question is always, whenever somebody asks me about an exercise, is this a good exercise, a bad exercise, should I be doing this? My question always goes back to why are you doing it? What's your interest in doing it? What's the goal you're trying to achieve by using this exercise? So I asked that question, um, but in this case, this exercise specifically, I can tell you that I graduated with a bachelor's degree from Penn State. I was a strength coach for a long time. There was a lot of information even back then that this machine was a quote, bad machine. You shouldn't do these exercises because it puts too much compression on the knee, too much compression on the patella. And while there's probably some truth to that for individuals that are just going to the extreme, maxing out the load, doing as much as they possibly can, for most normal humans that are reasonable in their workout, the machine is fine. Are there better alternatives? Absolutely. Is this machine something that's gonna cause damage and injury? Probably not within reason. But the main, the main issue here, is when you look at the design of the machine. So there's usually a pad. Now it could be, it's usually a seated machine like this. The pad, for example, in this one is down over the, the laces of her sneakers. And so what's happening is as she's kicking her legs into full extension, there's resistance throughout the entire arc of motion, which would normally be a good thing, but it's not necessarily very functional. Like when we're moving for normal human function, a great example would be this stock photography image of this man crouching. So when you think of his back leg, when you think of the knee flexion going on, this would be a position I might get into to try and get something out of a low cabinet. That back leg for him is pretty much doing the same thing that you see happening in this picture. The difference is in this picture, there's probably a little more hamstring activation. There's certainly more glute activation. So the glute is the muscle, basically your butt muscle. The hamstring is the muscle behind the upper thigh. When you're in this position on this machine, you're typically sitting like she is. Your glutes aren't really working that much. Your hamstring isn't working that much. Your calf, so all of the posterior chain muscles aren't working a lot. And what happens is you do get some compression at the kneecap itself. So if there is any deficiency in the kneecap associated with the total knee replacement surgery, there could be some risk of injury there, but you're also just creating a lot of what we call shear force. So shear force is a force that comes kind of, it, it goes perpendicular through the bones, not parallel through the bones. Um, there's compressive force and there's shear force. So we usually want to minimize the shear force uh, uh, beyond a reasonable amount. But like I said, I mean, if your goal is to be able to crouch like this individual, there's going to be some benefit to an exercise like this. The other reason though, the big reason, the main reason, probably what you've been waiting for, why is a leg press so much stronger? Why can you push so much more weight in a leg press than you can in an exercise like this? Because this is what we would consider more of an isolation exercise. You're isolating the quadricep muscle. There aren't a lot of other muscles that are working with this exercise. Whereas if we look at a leg press exercise, and there's lots of versions, so I'm not sure exactly what kind of version you're talking about, but something like this would probably be one of the more common versions that you would see at the gym. This person, look at the angle of the knee here compared to where we were just looking with the knee flexion. It's a much 
um, it, it's a more open angle. We're, we're not hardly past 90 degrees, if 90 degrees at all. You're using the glutes, you're using the hamstrings, the calf muscles, you're using the quadricep, you're using all of the muscles of the lower body. So you can absolutely generate more force. You also have a very different biomechanical uh, force going through the rest of the body. So this person here is actually using part of her back extensors to generate the force to push the feet to push through the plate now um you know some people will get into a leg press where they're kind of more of an inverted position again you're using a lot of muscles in this you're using the low back the glutes the hamstrings the quads the calf you're using everything and you can position your foot on the foot plate so you don't have quite as much knee flexion I'm going to go back to the picture we were looking at. So here, you know, this individual, she's just isolating the quad. So that's that's the main reason. Um, this is an isolation move, movement, whereas the leg press is a combination movement. Um, I would say there is some benefit to doing this just in terms of getting the knee into a weak position. But I would not ever expect to push the same kind of loads that you would push when you're doing a combination exercise like a leg press. And just remember, if you've ever gotten out of a chair, you're already pushing a majority of your body weight to lift yourself out of a chair, to stand up from a low seat or a couch. So you've been doing leg presses every single day. Every time you sit on the commode to get up, you are doing a leg press. It's the same basic motion. Whereas a leg extension, open chain, like kicking a soccer ball, we don't really do that that frequently. So that that's a simple answer, but remember, Yes, you know, there's there's always going to be somebody to tell you that something is dangerous, something is harmful, something is bad for you. I remember when coffee was good and then it was bad and then it was good and I don't know where it is now. Dairy, there's always somebody to tell me something is good or something is bad. Everything has its place. Uh, if you're not sure, absolutely talk to a physical therapist, talk to a strength coach, talk to somebody who's educated, who can give you the information that you're looking for. And if all else fails, I'm here. The channel is here. I appreciate you posting the question and I will catch you guys on the next video.